right, here's a video review for Ocular Max's PSO3 from their Perfection series. This is Backdraft, aka Inferno, here in his fire truck mode. And uh, just real quick, here's a comparison of him in uh, alt mode with uh, Make Toys Hellfire. And you can see Hellfire is a little larger overall as a fire truck, just a little longer. Um, not so much taller, but. Just a little, just got about an inch, inch and a half or so longer in vehicle mode than backdraft. So he comes, he rolls really well. He's got rubber tires, which is nice. Uh, a lot of die cast in him. He's quite heavy. Um, he comes in the same kind of packaging as uh, Sphinx did. Got a little tech spec there on the back, which is nice. Um, and includes his instruction manual, a little bio card, with some nice art, and uh, he comes with an alternate tune head. Now he, he comes with an alternate head, and I'm not sure if this is on a lot of the packaging and the art, so I'm not sure if this head is the one that comes installed on it, or if uh, if uh, the other one is. Uh, it came it came with this head extra in the box and the other head installed. This one may come pre-installed with the extra head being a separate piece. But either way, you've got two, two heads uh, that he can use. But yeah, so there he is in fire truck mode. And one of the cool things about this here is um, he's got these little supports extend down, just like that. Just kind of slide out at an angle. So you can have those down. Oh, they don't seem to come all the way down to the ground, but they do extend out. Um, the ladder can raise and extend. It's got three separate pieces. So you can give them a longer ladder and collapse that down back onto the vehicle mode. And what's really cool too is in the cab, the front door here opens and then there's a whole cab in there. Let's see if we can't lighten it up a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about here. There's a whole cab with a seat and a spike. The, the spike that came with MP10 can actually fit in the cockpit and sit in there. So that's kind of cool. And door opens on both sides. This side you'll see has the, uh, if I can get it open. There you go. This side has a steering wheel over here. Oh, come on, close. There we go. Arm piece was in the way there. But yeah, so there's his function in vehicle mode. And again, aside from rolling, that's about it. Oh, the, the, the ladder does rotate as well. Refocus here. And I continue to go ahead and get him into robot mode here. I'm going to come back here and slide these panels back. They kind of unclip a little bit here, and then you slide these back into this assembly, which will free up all of this. And one of the things I want to note here, too, is... Watch for these exhaust pipes here on the back end up because they actually are his head wings, but they fold up in the middle here to form the uh, to form the exhaust pipe, which is really kind of cool. But anyway, so you come down here. Now the instructions say you have to unhook these, this, the little tab here, tabs in here. You can see there's a little bit of stress marks because according to the instructions, these should fold when you unhook them from the arms here. These panels should fold. The instructions show him folding straight out to the side. And I have not been able to get him to do that without stressing this bit. So you just kind of open him up just enough uh, just to unpeg him from the arm. Because the legs will split enough to give the arms clearance. But if you try to fold these straight down, I found that they like to stress the... Uh, they stress the uh, this little panel right here. So be careful about that. But they open up enough to get the arms free, which is really all they need to do anyway. So you fold the foot up, hold the heel panel up on each side. Get that out of the way. This panel folds up like this and then collapses down like that to form the back of the leg. And same over here. You fold it down and then push the whole thing down into there collapse the back of the leg. This piece rotates up, rotates around, and opens up to form the crotch piece, which we'll plug in here in a moment. Now 
here these panels open up just like this and then the arms rotate you have to slide them over first and then I'll flip the head out because these should rotate should rotate a little easier now the doors may be causing some issues here Let me get the door open again yeah rotate them in Make sure the door closes behind them panel rotate that close the door up and then this panel closes up behind the arm once we get it all in position here slide it forward there we go close those up behind the arms there just like that and then the arms rotate down these little silver pieces flip up to form a shoulder bits you can rotate it fold it down and flip that up then his head flips up out of here and pegs in on the front there and then there's these two horns you kind of want to grab them and spread them out a little bit on his headpiece here you'll notice right now he has two uh, of his little hose missile things which do extend you can make them longer than that if you want um, and both sides I'm just gonna flip out this one but both sides can rotate around to form a uh, to form a hand, his thumb has popped off. Where is his thumb? This is a test shot I got from TF Source. I thought he had his thumb last night. It must have fallen off of the house. Okay, well he does have a posable thumb. We'll show you on this hand over here. Yeah, because I remember folding them all up. And uh, but he's got posable fingers. He's got a ball jointed thumb and then his fingers have a joint here and they're all individually posable down here only the index finger has a second joint uh, right here but so you got posable hands there there's his upper body and then you just bring his waist down like this and then this waist piece there's a tab here that plugs in to the front he stands up and then you fold these engine pieces down here on either side and this whole assembly pegs up into his backpack like that uh, you can pull his gun out here let me bring this up a little bit here this gun stores right here like that this folds down this is going to come up bring the forward bring that forward and then uh, this piece folds down and these will collapse together here bring these uh, wings up and you rotate them around like this and up and around like that and so this piece comes down, folds up and around like this, and then this whole piece clips forward. And this should come down lower than this, because this should, you should allow, yeah, this, this folds all the way around like that to be flat. Oh, and again, this piece that the, the ladder's attached to folds all the way down, which allows these to collapse in like this. And then you just tab this onto here on his head. Pull the ladder down here. And there's a little, they form a little tab here. There we go. Push it forward. And tab that onto his head. Arrange his little head wings. And there is backdraft in a robot mode. And like I said, again, you can extend this if you want. Um, he's got the gun collapses for to store in vehicle mode and then extends out to form his full rifle. And you can peg it into the hand. You can wrap the thumb around it. I'm gonna have to find that thumb. But there he is in robot mode. Zoom out a little bit.
And just as a quick size comparison, there he is with Backdraft. And you can see he's a lot taller, not a lot taller overall speaking, but he is significantly taller than Hellfire. Um, and, and not quite as thick. Um, so he's, he's a little skinnier, as you can see. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I looked over here at the, at the head. I'm going to have to do that in a second. But you can see, like, he, he's got, I, th I think he's got a better missile arm. Like this, this. That looks too short, and that looks a little odd, like that. Uh, you can give him two hands, you can give him two of the little missile attachments or hose attachments, however you want to think of it. And that's one of the things I was going to point out is the way the wings are done on here. I, I like the way they fold up to form the exhaust pipe and store in the back, but also the way these are attached, they don't pop off as easily as Hellfire. So that's one advantage that he's got going there. From a visual standpoint, I'm, I'm still not sure. I think I may like Backdraft, or not Backdraft, Hellfire a little bit more um, still. Just because he's so kind of thick and solid. But uh, there's a lot of neat things going on here. A lot more posability. I like the uh, the guns. Well, not really a lot more posability, but the lankiness. I, I, I kind of like the lankiness of Backdraft. Um, and some of the, tra like I said, there's just a few transformation bits that just feel a little bit more solid on Backdraft than they do on Hellfire. Although Hellfire does form a pretty sturdy robot there. I mean, like I said, the head, you can pop that off if you want. Uh, it helps if you uh, detach this just to get access to the head, but it's just on a ball joint, so you just pop it right off. And pop on the other head, just like that. And then put the... Uh, the backpack piece back in place. There we go. And fold his gun down. There is not his gun, his ladder. But there he is with the more cartoon accurate head. He's got a little smile on it. Um, and then again, you can see this ladder. It's a lot more compact in the backpack. Just overall, I think he makes a more streamlined robot than Hellfire did. A little smaller in vehicle mode, but becomes a much taller robot. And you can see a lot of that is, you know, some of the mass, like Hellfire has a much more of a cab sticking out past to the front of his head, his plane line. Um, the legs are a little skinnier, so you can see how that works, where uh, how he becomes a slightly lankier, skinnier robot just where all the mass is distributed and how he transforms. But yeah, he's pretty cool. Um, like I said, he's got a ball-jointed neck up here, so he can look around and look up and down. Um, he's got ratcheting shoulders this way. They can go up and down this way, and even though there's no ratchet there, they do hold pretty well. A little bump will knock him down a little bit, but ratcheting shoulders this way. He's got the bicep swivel, which you can hear also ratchets. A dual hinged elbow, so you can bend it here, or you can bend it up here. And bend it all the way up like that. He does have a waist swivel. Um, the, hip, the way the hip plates work, uh, they just flip right up. But then that gives you a lot of range of motion. Again, you can hear the ratcheting hips there. And they ratchet out in both directions. It's a much stronger ratchet forward to back than it is side to side, but they do ratchet side to side. Thigh swivel, uh, hinge knee. He does have an ankle tilt there. So you've got a pretty decent range of front to back motion on the ankle as well as side to side. You've got the poseable fingers. He does have a wrist swivel as well if you have the hand out. So yeah, pretty dynamic range of motion there on backdraft. Now he doesn't have covers to cover up the ropes and the, and the uh, supports like, like a Hellfire does. You can see that. Those panels flip up and cover those, whereas those stay exposed. But yeah, all in all, it's it's an, an it's another good solid Inferno figure. Um, it's really up to you on which one you want on your shelf. Like I said, Backdraft I think feels a little heavier overall, but he's got a lot of big diecast chunks. He has some diecast in him too, but I don't think it's just quite volume wise as much as Hellfire did. Actually, looking at them more side by side, I think I do like Backdraft a little bit more. I just, I've been staring at him on my desk at work for a long time, and I've kind of gotten used to him, so the, it was just, the, the, the aesthetic difference was 
enough to uh hi eric uh to uh, throw me off but um but yeah both good solid infernos they're good solid toys i like their fire truck modes i like their robot modes um big red fire engines are always cool but takara has apparently been teasing the next masterpiece might be inferno so do you wait and see what what Takara puts out? I'm really curious to see what Takara's Inferno looks like because um, I've always kind of dug that fire truck aesthetic or the fire truck look. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I think if you just can't wait for Takara to, Takara's version to come out, either one of these would make a really good uh, stand-in on your shelf. Um, but like I said, it, 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 it's always hard to review these when you know that there's an official one coming out. Um, because you, how is that going to compare to these? Is it worth spending money on the third party version when there's an official first party version coming out? And I can't make that decision for you. For me, like, I'm happy to have both of these guys. They're fun, but I feel like much like a lot of other characters that have come out recently, if an official Takara one comes out, that's probably going to be the one that ends up going on my shelf. So... And, and, and a lot of times, there's rumors, but we haven't... I, I'm trying to think of the last time Shockwave... Not even Shockwave, Soundwave, I think, was the, was one of the times I can specifically remember where a third-party company was planning on doing one, and before it came out, Takara announced theirs. Now, in this case, now in in, uh, back, in Hellfire's case, he, he's been out for a few months, so, you know, it, it, it's not... It was, it was a little bit of an easier decision. Ocular Max, uh, the backdraft is due out. It should be shipping soon. It should be out uh, sometime in the next couple of weeks hitting retailers. I think it's due to release end of April, which is today. So uh, you may see... It, it may hurt the sales of this one. I think if you're just looking for a good quality Inferno, backdraft is good and solid. Hellfire is good and solid. They're, they're nice renditions, but I, I feel like there's going to be a little bit of a dip... In, in sales and pre-orders on characters like Backdraft now that uh, Takara has announced theirs. So anyway, that's just my rambly rant about release schedules and things. But like I said, he is very good. He is very solid. Um, I, I do like a lot of him. I do wish this thing looked a little different. Like I'd love to have this style of arm attachment over this one. But I understand why they did it in order to collapse and fit into the forearms and all that stuff. So, because uh, like I said, on Backdraft, this is a separate piece that comes off and stores. It does store in vehicle mode, but it is a separate piece you have to attach and keep track of, whereas they are built in on Backdraft. So anyway, there he is. There is Ocular Max PSO3 Backdraft, uh, their version of G1 Inferno. All right, and just a quick update. Here he is with his thumb. It was in my bag there. I didn't think it had fallen off, but it, apparently it did. So uh, just be careful with the thumb. It's just on a little ball joint here, um, and it does pop off pretty easily. Uh, yeah, you can open up the fingers, pull the gun out. And then there's the thumb on the right hand, or left hand, I guess. So yeah, just be careful of that. You don't want to lose that. It, because it does, uh, you can see it pops off with very little effort. So, uh, pop it back on here. So just be careful of that one messing with him.